Today we're going to take a look at setting up the user request portal and go through some of the more granular settings available. So to start, let's click settings on the upper right hand corner. And we are going to click on the bottom user portal here. We're going to give our portal a company name and this is what will appear in the navigation bar. We're going to choose a custom logo. And we're going to set a custom color. All right, now we're going to save these settings. OK, so next we're going to go back to the main settings menu and we're going to click portal. And now these are the specific settings for the portal, such as displaying attachments in the portal. This is good if you need to display PDF files for the users to download. Uh, these portal assets allow you to group assets by location or all your assets together. Portal check-in, we're going to change this to off. This allows users to return items from the portal. We're going to restrict that for now. Portal loans, we're going to change this here to reserve only. We only want our users to be able to reserve items, not check them out. And display assigned, we'll leave this as on because this displays the user who's in custody of the items. So we'll allow our users to see that. And we'll click save. Okay, so we're going to go back, and next we're going to set up our access roles. We're going to configure a role that we're going to put our portal users into. So we'll click New Access Role, and we'll name the role. Okay, these options here are the settings for the role. We'll start on Locations, and we are going to choose View. So any role or any setting or any resource that's undefined it will take these default rights. So we're going to do view for everything. So we don't have to individually check off each item. We'll just click view and it will use that as the default. Same for fields. We want our users to see every field. And in the portal access other settings tab, we'll turn off report rights. We'll turn off for allow edit of loan date. We'll allow our users to view accessories. We'll turn off the ability for them to edit email settings. We're going to hide the loanees. Now this is the main setting that allows the portal user role. We're going to choose portal access with loan restrictions. Billing page is going to turn off. License, we're going to turn this on. We want our users to be able to see the licenses. Status labels off and allow override loan rules. We're going to keep this off. All right, so we're going to save this role. And we're going to click yes and go to the accounts page. Now in this role, here are my list of my accounts and the column for access role, we're going to click on the drop down and we're going to choose the role we just created and now automatically saves that user into the portal access role. So this is what it looks like when the user logs in. Now they're in their portal. This is the custom portal we created. Users got available items at the top, my items and reservations and a settings menu. Um, on the screen here they can see their items, their kits, the accessories and the software that's available. A user just simply clicks on one of the items Here's all the available MacBook Pros in this portal view. They'll click on a machine that they want, and it will show the details of the item, and it will also bring up a calendar of the item. And all they do in the calendar here is they click and drag for the time that they want to reserve the item for. They can provide any notes and then submit the reservation. Now at this point, this item is reserved for this user. Other users can still reserve this item. They'll simply see the reservation block on the calendar and we'll have to work around that. Okay, so if the user actually needs to cancel anything, they can click My Items and Reservations at the top and they have a list of all the items that they've reserved and they can click Cancel Reservation. When users submit reservations, an email will send to confirm the reservation. And these emails are customizable, but what's really cool is they include a calendar attachment. By double clicking on the attachment, users can easily add an event to their local Outlook or Gmail calendar, which is a great way to remind them of any upcoming reservations that they may have. So next, in, back in the admin view, we're going to click reservations at the top. All reservations filter in through this view here. We can even filter further and view only our MacBook Pros. And right here is the reservation we just submitted from the portal user. And if we want to do from this view, we can cancel this reservation by clicking the red X here. Or we can check out the reservation when it's due.
Now if we take a look at this individual asset and we click reserve on the right hand side, we'll see the calendar populate here as well with any reserve times. And that's it. Check us out at reftab.com for more information.